Hey Drone here, what's going on guys? So I'm going to show you, I've already done a video on this, I'm going to redo another one because some people are a little bit intimidated of all the wires. It's not hard, I promise you. So any toy grade RC from the store, you can do this with. So the first thing you want to do, take your screws out to get your canopy off. Bam, power of YouTube. Second thing you want to do is take out the board that these wires are connected to. You have a series of wires here. This one goes back here, it's a positive and negative, it goes back here to the motor. This one is a series of wires, positive and negative, it goes to the steering. All I've done is added female JSTs here on both of them, female JSTs. You need two brushed ESCs. And just to show you, I'm using a 10 amp brushed ESC. It's good for 4.8 to uh, 8.4 and that's very simple motor connector battery connector and motors for steering or motors for motor and i'll just i'll go over this as i'm doing it too so here it is so again these are female jsts so the male jst of this is going to plug into it the male jst of this other one is going to plug into this one then that's done and again i'm going to do this but i'm trying to talk you through it here just to try to ease up a little bit of the stress then you're going to need a receiver a uh four channel receiver is more than enough this is a three channel receiver anything higher is just overkill for toy grade stuff like this and then you'll need to make wiring harness or you can wire two batteries uh because the uh female part of these right here whoop, that needs power in order to be on but instead of running two batteries i like to run one so i make this wiring harness i bought jst connectors right here so i have a female jst connector which is going to mimic the female jst connectors here and i have two males which are going to plug in both of these that way both of these can get plugged in here and here and i can plug in a lipo battery here and power both of them but let's go ahead and set this down and uh try to show you exactly how to do this it's really simple hopefully this uh little tripod thing that i got going on here so we're going to take the first one we're going to take our rc car over here we're going to take our rear motor this is so simple guys we're going to take our esc and our rear motor and just plug it in female on the rear motor and male part on the esc Bam, that's one part done. One part done, so simple. Then we're gonna go ahead and grab our steering, which is this one. Again, I added these JST wires. I suggest doing the same thing. It's a female JST wire. We're gonna grab our second ESC. We're gonna plug the male into there. Really simple, guys. Anybody can do this, okay? So now, both of our motors are plugged into two ESCs. Next thing we need to do is take our wiring harness that we created and plug it into the ESC. So we have a female where traditionally a battery would be plugged in, but we're only running one battery. That's why we have the harness. Plug that in there. So we still have two parts of a wire harness. The other part back here, which is a male, goes into the second ESC here. Plug that in, okay? Now, to power this, all we need to do is plug a battery in there but we have to hook these ESCs up to this. And right here, that's your bind plug. We'll take that out for now. I'll show you how to bind it as well. So this first one here, we have our ESC wire. Um, the first one's going to the motor. So this is our motor and this is our steering. And you want your motor on channel two. And you want your negative all the way over here. So we are going to just plug in this on channel two and our steering which is this one again this is all dude this is so simple anybody can do this i'm sure you guys got toys sitting around that you don't use because they're junk and you just want to upgrade them a little bit and we're going to plug the steering into channel one we're almost done this check it out this is wired up the only thing this needs is power now and clearly we're going to bind it for the first time but this is done then we can then put our wires in here and go which again i'm going to show you just really wanted to make this video for the people that said, oh, I can't do that, J Drone. There's no way that's above my uh, tech savviness. And no, it's not. I promise you it's not. So the next thing that we need to do, we're plugged into our ESC. We then need to take this thing that comes with, uh, or we're plugged, the ESCs are plugged into a receiver. We need to bind a receiver with the transmitter. So we need to take this and we need to put this on channel three. On this one, channel three is for binding. So we're going to put that there. 
We're gonna take this battery, even though it's not a JST, I have the lossy shaved so it'll fit into a JST. And what we're putting that in is our wire harness. You can see the end of our wire harness here. This is going to power both of the ESCs. Just make sure positive and negative are correct. That way you don't reverse polarity. Bamzo. Why did nothing turn on? Well, because there's toggles on each one of these. So we're gonna go ahead and turn this on by grabbing this toggle. And as you can see, we got a blinking going on here, or blinking going on here. Okay, so I also want to turn on the other one. There's two, there's two per each, and the other one I think is here on. So both of them are on right now. We have blinking. We'll try to get that to sit there. That way you guys can see it. Sit. You should. No, you still can't see it. Hold on. All right. So there. Maybe you can see that. I'll get close to it. We'll just get right there. Okay. And with the transmitter that I have, which is this transmitter, all I have to do is hold the bind button and turn that on and it's going to bind. So I'm going to set this down so you can see that. I'm holding the bind button and I'm turning this on and bam, so we get a steady red light. So now what we want to do is just go ahead and uh, turn off our toggles, turn off our toggles. Light just went out because we're now no longer supplying power to it. And we're going to turn off our transmitter. We're going to go ahead and pull this, pull this out. We're done. We're done. All we have to do is get all this fished up, like just shove it all in there and put the cap on. We're good to go. And then uh, what we can do is test it. But uh, I think I'm going to do that off camera or maybe I'll do it on camera. We'll do it on camera. We'll do everything on camera. Show you guys. There's no tricks. So simple to do. And my battery, what I'm going to do, if you see under here, I carved out my battery spot. That way it can go in here. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take my battery and I'm just going to drop it in there. That way, if I want to take my battery out without taking the screws out off the canopy, which I'm not going to tighten the screws on now, but I am going to shove everything in here. Literally, guys, I'm shoving everything in here. We'll get my big paws out of the way. Shoving everything in here. And then just for the sake of time, I, I got to keep these two toggles, got to keep the toggles up, um, which is here and here, just because we need to be able to hit those. So we're going to put those over there. For the sake of time, I'm going to put take a piece of electrical tape. I'm just going to go over the top of it, just so everything's secure, nice and secure. Again, the electrical tape's not going to be on there. We're going to neaten that up just a little bit more. Um, without putting on the canopy, let's go ahead and turn our toggles on toggle on we have our light can you see the light looking to be bound little red light right here we're going to turn our other toggle on okay and i'm going to turn we'll put this back a little bit and maybe actually we'll stand it up a little bit more that way you get a little bit more perspective of it and back it up a little bit more all i'm going to do is take my controller Turn it on. Okay, now you see the ESCs, both of them are lit. They weren't lit before, but now they're lit. So now, if I steer, which I'm steering, as you can see, there's no tricks here. I'm not using the stock controller. I'm using this modified one. And then, bam. Simple as that, guys. You can do it. I promise you can do it. If you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button. Questions, comments, concerns down below. And again, all I need to do now is just put the canopy on, put the, put the screws in, and we're good to go. And again, just no trickery here. This is my controller. Turny, turny. And I'm going to go ahead and reverse. And come forward. It's much faster, much faster. And we're also using a bit be better battery. All right, guys, if you haven't subscribed, smash the subscribe button, question, comment, concerns down below. Later.